Welcome, everybody. Uh, I am Brian Oliver. I am the teacher for AP Computer Science this year at Hayfield. Um, I wanted to give you a quick overview of the class um, in case you weren't able to make back to school night. So let's jump right into it. Okay, this is a syllabus. It is on our Schoology page. So I'm going to actually blow that up a little bit. Um, the big thing I want to focus on is um, I teach three sections of AP Computer Science. I teach it for second and fifth. Uh, I'll start off with kind of the background stuff. Uh, I have taught computer science before. It's been a little while since I've done it, but I have taught it. I've taught the intro class and I've taught the AP class and I've taught the follow on to the AP class, which is called data structures. Um, there are two of us computer science teachers in the building. It's myself and uh, Mr. Kearns. So uh, the big thing I want to kind of focus on right away is this is an AP class. So in May, um, your student will be taking an AP test and it will be on right here. Um, it will be uh, the first week of May on Wednesday in the afternoon. So um, the whole point of this class is to get a familiarity with computer programming, specifically the logic. Um, your students will become familiar with what it's like to code in Java. They won't become experts, but they'll become very familiar. They'll understand the logic of it. Um, the big thing I want to kind of focus on is how the grades in the class work and the way the grades in the class work, as you can see. Assessments are made up of 40% of the grade. Exercises and labs are 25% each, and small activities are 10%. Um, the way this will work is in a traditional class. I'll show you. Everything is built in right here into our Schoology page, so your students should be able to access it. So we're on Unit 1 with them right now, and inside the Unit 1, there starts off with a tentative schedule. The tentative schedule says what we're going to do over the course of the next coming days, usually 8 to 10 days in a unit. Um, I have a folder that has the lecture notes. It has the lecture notes for every class. I have a folder that has our exercises. It has the exercises we'll work on in the unit. I have a folder for the labs we'll work on in the unit. And then I have a folder for what will happen with our assessments. So in a given day, the students will come in. We'll bring the notes up on the board. We'll go over some content of some things uh, Java related. Right now, we're starting off with the basics of variables and input output. Um, and the students will have an opportunity to interact with uh, the slides, ask me questions, kind of get familiar with it. And then what I'll do is I'll assign exercises to them. Those exercises are classroom work. Um, they're allowed to work on it outside, but I do give them time in class to work on it. Uh, the goal there is to uh, become familiar with the format of the multiple choice questions. Um, usually there's two, maybe three exercises to a unit. Then I have them work on labs and the way the labs work out, as you can see, they have one that they, they have a choice of what they're going to do with the options. Um, there's four different ones. They get progressively more challenging. What I usually encourage is my students who have taken computer science before to kind of push themselves a little bit to, to make themselves better. But they pick one of those labs and the, you submit that lab um, on our uh, the day after our units finishes. OK, assessments. I offer two types of assessments in the class. I offer a traditional assessment. The traditional assessment is what most students think about, multiple choice questions. Um, later on, there'll be some pre-response questions as part of that traditional assessment. That's one option. The other option is they have a project-based assessment. And the way I explain to them the project-based assessment is um, it gives them an opportunity to explore their understanding of computer science in a, in a way that they can direct. Um, I give them a t I give them a, some spe specifications that they have to meet, and what they have to do is they have to meet all of these specs I give them, and on top of that, put together a one to two minute video kind of explaining what they're doing. So the way I try to explain to them is that students who want to uh, major in computer science it becomes a good reference or a good resource to show to professors when you get to college. But again, it's a choice, the traditional assessment or the project-based assessment. So um, some students will do both, and I'll take the higher of the two. The way that the grades work out, again, is it's 40% those assessments I discussed, 25% exercises, 25% labs, and then 10% small activities. Um, we have the rolling grade book, so the students will see their grade kind of as it goes through the course of the year. And um, in terms of the content we're going to cover, um, as you can see, what we need to do is we need to more or less get through the entire content by the end of third quarter, because when fourth quarter rolls around, we're getting ready for our test. So that is a really quick explanation of what the class is. 
um, please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. I'd be more than happy to answer any you may have. Um, and I hope we have a great year.